In this video, I'm going to show you how to get 3x, 5x, 10x more traffic with a free, simple to do SEO strategy that just takes around two minutes. Trust me, this is not clickbait. We do this for a bunch of our clients. It just works. The reason why it works is because not a lot of people know about it. And on top of that, not a lot of people want to do it. So let me break down what this actually is and how you can increase your traffic almost overnight just by implementing this free SEO strategy. Let's break it down. Okay, so how does this strategy actually work? Again, it's a way to increase organic search traffic for free by doing two things. And the very first thing, which again, not a lot of people do, and it's boring, right? It's updating existing content. And I know it's boring, but it, trust me, it does work. If you look at this graph right here, this is the organic search traffic for certain pages, right? You'll see that it dropped off a lot. Now these green balls you see right here, these are shown and these happen when you make big updates to a certain page, whether you change it, the content, add a bunch of new content, add links, add images, essentially when you refresh the content, right? And when we did so, you see here, when we updated the content, well, traffic went up again, went up, and then we updated again and went up again. So by updating your content, your existing content with fresh, new, relevant info, you get more traffic. Because again, Google, of course, values info that's up to date, that's valuable to the user, right? Google only wants to provide valuable content to the end user. And so by updating existing content, whether that's with new images, new videos, actual fresh update info, internal links, so let's say, for example, you create a new page, right? But this page right here would benefit from having a link, right, to this one that it just created, right? A fresh new internal link. External links, right, updating the content does work. So essentially transforming something like this, right? Not just bland, right? But maybe outdated to something like this with new images, as you can see with new, new links and in, internal, in article video, excuse me, internal links, external links, fresh new info as well. So this is the before and after. And this actually does work. Now, how do you know what part of the content you update and how do you actually update the content? Well, the first question is, of course, how do you know what to update? How? Well, you can use tools like Ahrefs, right? And see how your competitors are performing and what pages that rank for keywords similar to yours are now outranking you, right? Again, Ahrefs is an expensive tool, but I mean, if you're doing SEO, if you're serious about SEO, you need to use tools like this. And so you go here, you go to your top pages on the left-hand side, which top pages essentially are the page that get the most traffic, right? And then you look right here, you look at the pages, right? They are going down, right? If you're going down, someone else is going up, right? It makes sense. If you go down in ranking, someone else uh, outranks you, of course, right? And so what you do is you just look at the ones you've lost the most rankings in, right? And then you take a look at your competitors and see what pages they gain rankings on for similar keywords, okay? You can even click the keywords and see what, what's, what's going on, right? And then you look at the content they're providing on that page. You look at, you go to the Wayback Machine as well. You can go to Wayback Machine and see, okay, a week ago, how was their content? And how is it now? Did they add more content? What was this content about, right? Did they add more links? Did they add more images? Did they add more, more videos? In what way did they refresh the content? So in what way did they do this right here? How did they update their content? In what way they did it? And then what you go out and do is you update your content. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this. I recommend you use an AI just because it just makes things so much easier. And you don't even need to use Journalist AI for the generation. You can just use, use it for the editing. So if you go here, open this up, click view, click this top of the button right here, click edit with AI. Again, you can import your own content here. So you can just delete all this and then paste in your content right here, which I want to do right now. But let's say this is your content, right? Your existing content. You go here and say, mm, let me add some links. Now, yes, you could do all this manually, but why would you? And you can just use AI. And there you go. The AI found two places. It chose the anchor text for us and it gave us the URL. It's going to link out two. So now we just have two external links here that add more relevancy to our article, right? And they can cause and increase the user experience. You can do this for internal links, external links. Let's say, for example, you take a look at these final thoughts and say, hmm, I want to make this a bit longer because I think my users will benefit from more info on this. And the AI makes it longer. Let's say, for example, you don't really like this image, right? You could go here, and this is them with AI, by the way, and say, add a dog, right? And the AI will add a dog not just at random, right? It will go and read through the article, figure out what niche it is about, figure out what this image is about, again, a bunch of plants and pots, right? And then add a dog to that, right? Click accept. There you go. You can do this for a bunch of different images, okay? You can do it for in-article images, you can do it for featured images, you can do it for all of them, right? You go here as well and say, go here, add image, and just do this one. Let's just say, we're gonna generate image. Let's just do uh, a 
beautiful garden, right? Generate image. Again, what we're doing here is updating the article with fresh new content. Again, be it images, videos, images, doesn't really matter, right? This is done by the, with AI, by the way, right? Again, we're freshing it up the content and this was gonna make it more available for the end user and making us recoup those rankings. This is something super easy you can do today, right? Again, you can do it manually or you can just use the AI to do it for you with the tool like Journalist AI. But whether you choose to do it manually or with AI or with any other AI, just make sure you do it because updating existing content will give you results like this right here. Again, this is undeniable proof that updating the content, making it more relevant for what's happening today is something that Google really values, which of course makes perfect sense. Now, the second tip is to use a AI agent, in specific one tailored for SEO. So what do I mean by this? Well, again, we're using AI because AI just fastens the process at which you can do things, right? You go here to set optimizers. Again, you don't need to use this AI. You can use anyone you want. I'm just using this as a demonstration purposes. Go here, add your site. Right? Let's call it our gardening site. And again, I, I'm just gonna put my URL right here, site language and click create. Now, what this AI agent will do is automatically analyze all the pages on your site and give you tailored recommendations based on reasoning as to what you need to change in your SEO efforts. It's gonna give you changes and the why behind those changes for both page titles, meta descriptions, meta keywords, canonical URLs, and image alt text. Let me give you an example. For example, right now it's analyzing three pages, right? It gives us, right, the current uh, page title for this page, so the four slash Squarespace page, which is a page we have on our site. If we go here to tarjolins.com four slash Squarespace, this page right here, which basically goes over our Squarespace integration, right? Doesn't really matter. And if we go here, right, the AI suggests a new title because our current one is Squarespace AI SEO Writer, try for free journalist, right? And it suggests us changing it to AI Part SEO Writer for Squarespace, free trial available. Not only that, but it tells us the why. So if I click here on the why, it goes over why we should make that change. In this case, it tells us, hey, the title is more descriptive and includes relevant keywords like AI Powered SEO Writer in Squarespace, which can improve search visibility. It also emphasizes the free trial, which can attract clicks because again, as you know, your meta title and meta descriptions shouldn't just be SEO optimized. They need to be SEO optimized, but they also need to be optimized for CTR, for click-through rate. Because you could be ranking first, but if your meta title and description aren't enticing enough for a certain keyword people are searching for, well, people might not necessarily click your, your result being the, be the first one. They might click the second or third one. If they do that enough, well, eventually you're going to be dropping down. So the AI takes you into account those two things. And to implement this, just go here and click apply. And the AI will go through your site and change it up live on your site. All you have to do is just install this little code, go here to um, installation, just paste this code into your site's header, and that's that. Now, we do this for page titles, meta descriptions, right? And we have a bunch of them. With, we have a bunch of pages with no meta description, so not found. So we have this page, the AI SEO course page, that doesn't even have a meta description, right? And I wasn't even aware of this, right? I'm just finding this out right now. Again, because just life and business gets in the way, and even though we are an SEO tool, we sometimes miss things. And so now we can have the AI, give us the reasoning why, and then apply this change live to our site in a few seconds. We can even select all and apply them all if you'd like. There's the same thing for meta keywords, for example, it goes over a certain page, for example, this AI SEO agent page, which is the page for this exact feature that I'm just showing you right now, which basically goes over what this AI agent does, all the things, all the features, all that, right? And it's suggesting us that on this page, right, we should be sprinkling in all these keywords, AI SEO agent, automated SEO, website performance, technical SEO, SEO improvements, search rankings, whatever, right? And then not only that, but it gives us the why. It tells us, okay, why does the AI think we should be sprinkling in all these keywords onto our page? It tells us these keywords are relevant to the content of the page and reflect common search queries related to AI and SEO. They are specific enough to attract target traffic while broad, broad enough to cover various aspects of the service. Notice here that it says they're relevant to the content on the page. So it's not just recommending just stuff just because, right? It's going through the site, understanding our brand, understanding what journalist AI does, and then giving us for that specific page, tailored suggestions as to things we can do to improve our SEO. And again, we can just go here and hit apply and the AI will automatically sprinkle in all these keywords within the content of this page, right? So essentially an AI agent tailored to optimizing your SEO on autopilot. This is also for canonical URLs, which is a very big one. A lot of people have duplicate content and this will fix it for you. Uh, image alt text, a lot of people, us included, why we have a bunch of images without alt text. And if you know 
anything about SEO, right? You know that alt text is hyper, hyper important because technical SEO is all about these small optimizations, right? And if you're specific, especially in competitive niches, right, you need to be doing all these small optimizations because these are the things that will give you that will get you over the line into outranking your competitors. And in a week from now, this will also do schema, uh, site speed, link. So again, we'll be adding more stuff right here. The point of this is that leveraging AI as a technology in specific leveraging an AI agent that does your technical SEO for you on autopilot is something you should be doing. Why? Because one, most people don't bother with this stuff. Most people don't bother with adding alt text to the images. Most people don't bother with canonically URLs. Most people don't bother with titles and descriptions. A lot of them, them don't even bother with just sprinkling their keywords. And because most people don't bother with this, well, if you do it, you're gonna have an amazing edge over the competition. Now, why would you do it manually when you could just use AI to do it for you automatically? Just select all these ones and hit apply. And the AI will automatically apply all these site-wide. And so having a proper technical SEO will give you an edge over the competition. And so if you combine technical SEO, right, with updating your existing content, plus of course having a proper on-page SEO and a proper off-page SEO, you will win regardless. And if you want tutorials on how to do on-page SEO and off-page SEO, I'll leave links down below. But combining your proper on-page SEO strategy, and if you're watching this right now, most likely you have a decent on-page SEO strategy and also off-page. But if you don't, watch the tutorials down below. But if you combine that with, again, updating your existing content, looking at, okay, which one of my top pages in Ahrefs, the traffic went down. Updating the content based on which pages of the competition went up and combining that with using an AI agent tailored for SEO, just like the one I showed you to improve your technical SEO, well, you will most certainly see improvements in your organic search traffic for free without doing really much. And the thing is that not a lot of people bother with this because it takes work, but now with AI, it takes a hundredth of the work. So give it a go, try it out. The tool is called Journalist AI. I'll leave a link down below in the description and also in the pinned comment. Give it a go, try it out. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.